Hi everyone, um, in this video I want to show you my code in MATLAB to simulate the polarization of light, okay, so uh, of light waves, actually you can simulate the polarization of any waves, uh, but basically we care about the polarization of light waves, so if you have a wave that is a resultant of two components and you change the properties of these components, you see different polarization of light. Of course, if you're watching this video, this means you probably understand what is the polarization of light and uh, why we need it simulated. Well, we actually use it in many, many applications like the principle of LCD monitors, like the ellipsometry technique in characterization of materials and many, many projects actually will need such a simulation. So you can use this code, which I will share, of course, in the description to uh, simulate this this effect calculate exactly how the resultant wave looks like okay and you can then use this code and other thing or maybe use it as it is to uh, see this image okay so let's uh, let's start and see how how it works okay so this is the interface and you have the two components the first wave and the second wave and have some initial uh, values but of course you can change them the wavelengths and the frequency now uh, this notation is a uh, uh, metric system notation. To understand this or even to use it, you can hit the uh, units notation and you get from uh, the auto, which is 10 to the power of negative 18, till the e uh, exa, which is 10 to the power of 18, and you have like the femto, pico, nano, micro, all the, all the. Uh, now you use this letter in your description of any number like this to get, to get this metric units. Okay? Uh, okay, so we have two waves. The wavelength is like 100 nano, and then the frequency is about 3 beta. That's a, wave, uh, a light uh, wave. Okay, and you have the amplitude of 1. Now, you can change, of course, the amplitude, and I don't have really uh, mentioned a certain unit for the amplitude because it, it works with the same principle for any wave, actually, not only light wave, maybe mechanical waves, and, and that sort of stuff even matter wave uh, uh, okay so then here initially you have two waves of the same properties they have the same properties and uh, for the time so the duration of the simulation is 2 frame 2 seconds and the step is 10 auto and we will see here how the uh, time progress uh, can be and you have this exact time calculation with the exact form of the wave that we're gonna see here uh, here we're gonna see the polarization. We're gonna draw how it is polarized. You know, some waves are like linearly polarized, circularly polarized, and we're gonna see that we can even make uh, very unique and different shapes of polarization. Okay. Uh, now we get to this important part, which is that the two components have a phase shift. If the, they have a phase shift between them, and if it is in, uh, it is in the terms of, of wavelengths, so. Uh, it is zero wavelength, so there is no phase shift. We can make it integer, which is like the same as zero, and we can make it like 0.5, which is mean half lambda phase shift, something like that. The angle between the two, uh, angle between in degrees, is the angle between the two components. So I basically made them at first at 90, which means they are a perpendicular components, like in light waves. Okay. Uh, then okay let's see you see you, you set hit reset view to get uh, the original view because you can change it and you will see this okay so let's start we say animate okay here you go you can see the light the time sorry progress and you can see the light waves you see the two components and you have here the window that catches uh, this polarization you can even rotate it do whatever that's why you have the reset view button and now you can pause it at a certain time to see how they look at a certain time continue you can stop the whole animation and start over okay and whatever you want uh, now what happens here is that you see the red and the blue components of the light which is the red and the blue waves uh, and the, the total polarization of light now of course this is linearly polarized because it is the same two waves with zero phase shift and 90 uh, degree angle now it reached two frame two seconds, so it stopped, which is a fine very uh, simulation. You can change all of these values, of course, and 
this view here comes from this black window you take a like like a cross section and you see how the polarization uh, is is drawn so this is linear now let's let's change some values and see what will happen uh, let's say that this is an integer of lambda it should be the same right let's say 5 okay and we animate again and here you can see it draws linearly but just the same because of course it is periodic and an integer number of wavelengths is like the same as zero okay let's stop this now let's try maybe 0.5 flamba now this is a phase shift of half the lambda half the wavelengths now what we should see is also linear but in the other direction so uh, let's see this okay that works that works fine it is the other direction you can see that the two components have the same amplitude of course one reaches one and then it goes back again so it looks looks nice now let's try to make it circular of course we know that if it is uh, one over four of lambda it should be circular so let's see okay that that looks good it is uh, you can see there is a phase shift here okay let's stop this and get back to one and you can see that it starts and ends at the same time. But if we make it at 0.5, you can see that there is a phase shift of 1 over 4. You set the view again if you want. Okay? And you can see it is circular. Now, uh, another famous type of polarization is the elliptical polarization. And that actually happens uh, at something like any random number. Okay? something like this now this should be something elliptical so you see it is elliptically polarized um, and and this is obvious from the phase shift of the change of the two uh, components of light okay very well now let's uh, try to to play with this a little bit let's try something weird something we don't really uh, see a lot let's maybe change this angle not always 90 let's make it I don't know 75 something like that uh, just to play with it, okay? Okay, this is also elliptical, but has different. You can see that the angle is not now 90 as before. Okay? Different. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's be weird. Let's make it 10 or something. And you can see that the component is like 10, and you will see it, a different polarization. And uh, at any time, you can of course pause it and see how everything looks, okay? Now, okay, let's get back to 90 and do something else. Let's make this zero again. Okay, and uh, let's change the amplitude. Okay, uh, this actually wouldn't too much. Uh, the amplitude is not really effective in this in this case, and we will prove this. Okay, so when we get back to the real values and we say it, it's, it's linear again, right? Okay, then uh, let's make this 10. Now we change the amplitude. Let's animate. It's just the same thing, but you can see that one goes from negative 10 to 10, and one goes from negative 1 to 1. The amplitude is just different. Okay, maybe if the square scales, it will do something weird, but it's still it's still linear. Okay, so the amplitude does really nothing. But what about the, the wavelengths and the frequency? Now, uh, because we basically care about the light waves. We, when, once you change this, once you make it any value, you say like 100, 150 uh, nanometer, the wavelength, and you just hit anywhere, you see that it automatically changes the frequency. This because the wavelength and the frequency should be multiplied to give you the constant C, which is the velocity of light. So once you change the wavelengths, okay, you always get a change in the frequency. Actually, we can, we can just hit 100 and again, we'll calculate again. So it changes the frequency once you change the wavelength to be what should be in a light wave. But uh, so two light waves uh, coming together. But if you want to change the frequency, if you have a certain wavelength and a certain frequency, maybe it is not light wave. You can actually do this. You can change this to whatever you want. You can change it to I don't know, to beta. You can you can do whatever you want. But let's let's do it as if it is. Uh, so as if it is light waves, okay? So do something like this, okay? And then get back again, and here we go. Okay, now 
so this is automatically because of it's a light wave and what we change it we change the wavelengths and let's animate now now you see that the wavelengths one of them is not quite the same as the other okay and what you see now is something weird something it's not familiar with uh, uh, weird shape of popularization and and here you go you can just keep playing with these values keep putting what you want in, in your mind and see how the shape changes it, you can make your own uh, you can design your own kind of polarization and test it with this method and uh, maybe this will have some interesting application so that uh, I hope uh, can be helpful so anyway uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will share the code with you in the description I hope you subscribe to my uh, channel to get the uh, new projects I do Okay, and uh, thank you.